A former Honolulu police major will serve time behind bars after pleading guilty to tax evasion and lying to investigators. Federal Judge Helen Gilmore said Carlton Nishimura needs to spend time in prison so his crimes are not trivialized. KITV4's Andrew Pereira has the story, new at 6. Carlton Nishimura's fall from grace came in 2011 when the former police major was indicted on charges of extortion, tampering with a witness, and making false statements. From April 2004 to March 2006, Nishimura allegedly conspired with a woman, Donnie Imosi, to provide protection to an illegal game room. But in a deal with federal prosecutors, Nishimura pleaded guilty to lying to investigators and filing a false tax return. He apologized and we'll leave that for what it's worth. Whether he was uh, uh, heartfelt in that, that's not for me to say. Nishimura had also faced drug possession and trafficking charges after a November 2011 FBI raid on his Waianae home allegedly yielded 15 grams of methamphetamine. However, the drug charges were dropped as part of the plea deal. There were issues of actually whose drugs it were. Um, we know that um, uh, Donnie Mosi was up there at the house. Um, there were considerations with the uh, uh, risk of going to trial. Federal Judge Helen Gilmore admonished Nishimura for failing to uphold his oath as a police officer. She also lashed out at Nishimura for contacting Donnie Mosi while out on bail, even after the court ordered him not to do so. She found that uh, he had attempted to influence her testimony, um, and uh, that's what she found uh, to be reprehensible and, and to be obstruction. Mulek says Nishimura may have jeopardized a federal investigation by tipping off the United Samoan Organization, a notorious prison gang which just last month had 18 members indicted on charges of federal racketeering. Knowledge got out that there was a task force looking at them. Uh, it probably, uh, I, I can't speculate, but it very well could have uh, uh, made it more difficult. Nishimura's attorney asked for home confinement, but Judge Gilmore sentenced him to eight months in jail and three years of supervised release. Mulek rejects the notion Nishimura got off with a slap on the wrist. A police officer serving uh, jail time is uh, probably not an easy thing to do. Nishimura will return to the federal building on Monday, November 4th. That's when he's scheduled to turn himself into the U.S. Marshal Service to begin serving his sentence. Andrew Pereira, KITV4 News.